To celebrate the war's end, on March 24, 1919, Falkland and surrounding area residents planned and gathered for a large picnic in the chip field in the northwest corner of the town. The following year, some locals brought a few horses to the celebration, where it was agreed that a site must be prepared to protect growing amounts of spectators and hold horses. The site chosen was a clearing just south of the old Salmon River Mill. Today, that site is known as the School Ball Field. The first picnic on the new grounds was a huge success and was well organized. As the rodeo's attendance grew, so did its competitors, and in 1938, a decision was made to purchase 11 acres west of the town for a recreational and stampede grounds. By 1969, Falkland's Little Rodeo turned professional, registering with the Cowboys Protective Association. Some 10 years later, in 1976, an improvement grant was awarded, where a new fence was erected along Highway 97, and a new hand-peeled log announcer's booth replaced the old one. There have been many changes to the stampede over the years. Today it spreads over three days filled with many festivities and ranks among the top 12 rodeos in Canada. Planning starts well in advance among volunteers where nothing is overlooked. The hearts of Falkland residents is what keeps this rodeo going. If the will for it to continue is as strong as our pioneers, the Falkland stampede will continue for many years to come. It's time for